Nathan here. When I was at the Cahokia Mounds over there in near St. Louis, I had lost the weather. Had most of the filming done, except for the intro, which I'm going to give you the details of the site right here, right now. I like doing it right there at the site with some background, but that didn't work out. Cahokia, uh, spelled C-A-H. OKIA is about 15 minutes east of St. Louis, right by Collinsville. It's right off of I-55 right over in that area. The Monk Mound in, in that location is the largest man-made mound in the United States. It basically has the same base as the Great Pyramid over there in Egypt. The Monk, uh, the Monk Mound is 100 feet in height at its highest spot. They estimate it's 22 million, and I said million, cubic feet of dirt. To put that into perspective, Sears Tower, renamed Willis Tower in 2009, has some 53 million cubic feet of office space. So that means that Monk Mound if you put it inside, uh, inside the Willis Tower, it would take up 42% of it. Likewise, in the Empire State Building in New York City occupies 37 million. So to put that into perspective, Monk Mile would probably fill up 60% of the office space there. Now keep in mind, back in those days, there was no heavy bulldozers or heavy construction equipment like we use today. They probably didn't have shovels like we have today that we'd have in our garage. They probably loosened the, the dirt with an axe and put the dirt into a basket and carried it over there to the mounds. It would take a long time to, uh, to, uh, to do that. It would be decades at least. It kind of reminds me of the Tower of Babel project. That lasted 40 plus years. There are other mounds over there on that site too. Right now there's 80 of them. It's conjectured that there's upwards to uh, over 120 of them. At its peak, that Cahokia site was 4,000 acres in size. That's about six and a quarter square miles, but due to the growth of our society that uh, some of that has been lost to, uh, to development. Woodhenge is about a half mile west of Monk Mound. Woodhenge is similar to Stonehenge over there in the UK. And it's considered part of the Cahokia complex. Due to the findings during the archaeological digs in the past at the complex, an interstate highway was actually diverted away from the site to preserve it. Researchers believe that this, in addition to its massive site, it actually had suburbs there. Yes, I said suburbs. At its zenith, it was considered to be larger than London during that same time period. I am told there is burial and ceremonial mounds there. When I asked during a large skeleton uh, remains found there, they never really answered the question. So generally speaking, that usually means that there's a pot that there were and they just don't want to admit it. So, and that came from my research and from talking to some local archaeologists uh, in the area. So if you want some more information, check them out online and enjoy the rest of the video. Here is the mound from the east side of it, so I'm facing west. I am probably... A football field and a half back from it, so 150, 160 yards, give or take. So this is a massive mound, as you can tell. There's the one big tier uh, at the top, and then over on your left side there is the lower tier. This is a massive site, so <clears throat> I was told it's 4,000 acres, six and a, about six and a quarter miles square. This is huge. This is the biggest one 
north of Mexico. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around the mound and there's some stairs over there too. Right now I'm on the southwest corner of the mound. This looks like a mountain. Right over there is the stairs. You can see right there the sun's rising. It's a public access road right there. That's what it looks like going up there. Nice steep climb. That's the first tier, <clears throat> as you can tell. So here we are at the first tier. Right now, right now I'm facing north, and that's going to be east. Let's 
south. West. Back north, back north again. Very breezy up here, so I'm trying to shield the wind a little bit. That's the building they have with uh, artifacts and information about this whole complex here. You notice here all these mounds. See, there's right in front of you there. One right there. There's another and another. There's another right on the other side of that bench. See that? There it is, and there's another one right over there. What a view, huh? What a view. See the arch? Over there in St. Louis. I believe that's in the city there. The arch of St. Louis. <laughs> 